Yellowstone National Park is our nation's first national park, and those of us who live in the Treasure Valley are in luck. From here, it's only about a six hour drive, making it the perfect destination for your next three day weekend. Today, we want to share a few fun ideas for your trip to Yellowstone. Park the car, get off the pavement, and put your boots on the ground. 95% of people who visit Yellowstone never set foot off pavement. It's a shame since the massive park is crisscrossed with amazing trails that lead to towering waterfalls, past bursting geysers, and among amazing wildlife. Speaking of wildlife, it's probably the biggest reason most people visit Yellowstone. The park has the most dense concentration of mammals in the lower 48. Of course, everyone will likely see a bison or a couple hundred. It's the predators that most hope to see. Yellowstone is home to a complex predator and prey relationship that is highlighted by grizzly bears, black bears, wolves, coyotes, elk, and much more. If your heart is set on seeing maybe a bear or a wolf, you won't find a better place than the Lamar Valley near the northeast entrance. While you're in the Lamar Valley, don't forget your fly rod. Yellowstone offers world-class fishing. A heads up though, for the most part, it is no bait and no barbs, only flies. However, the Park Service actively wants to rid Yellowstone of non-native trout species, such as brook trout, brown trout, rainbow trout, and lake trout, also known as Mackinac, which compete with native Yellowstone cutthroat. Be sure to grab some park fishing regulations and study them carefully. Some rivers and streams are catch and release only, but the Park Service strongly encourages that you keep all lake trout in Yellowstone Lake, which will provide a nice meal back at camp. Another cool way to see the park is to get off the beaten path and go for a bike ride. Yellowstone has many dirt roads that see little car traffic but are perfect for mountain biking. The roads are scattered throughout the park but there are a few good ones near Old Faithful and the Gardner entrance that are sure to please. And a bonus, because you're so far away from the crowds of tourists, your chances of seeing some amazing wildlife are much better. But if you see this guy or one of his friends, Remember, keep a safe distance. A visit to the park would not be complete without spending some time around a campfire with the family. Having a few ideas to keep the kids entertained can make for a much more relaxing trip. Don't forget extra marshmallows. Maybe learn a ghost story. If you can play the guitar, bring it. Design a scavenger hunt or any number of old school games we all used to play before the only way to get kids to go outside was chasing Pokemon on an iPad. If you have any great ideas we've missed or any other outdoor stories you'd like us to cover, shoot us a message on Facebook at Six on Your Side.